Welcome everyone and welcome to the video of course contents for Dynamics 365 for Operations Financial. In this video we'll be talking about the course contents which we cover in this video on demand training along with the target audience and the exam information. Let's talk about the course contents which we cover in this video on demand program. This course is divided into two major modules, the Finance Essentials and the Finance Advanced. As a part of Finance Essentials, we'll be talking about the general ledger setup where we'll talk about how to configure the ledger, creating ledger names, setting up approvals, working with the GL ledger parameters. Then we talk about the chart of account setup where we'll be configuring the main accounts, the chart of accounts for the organization, account structures, account for automatic transactions and all. Followed by the journal setup, creating journal names, periodic journals or some sort of daily journals, intercompany journals, what different type of journals are available along with DL, GL daily procedures. That talks about how we can start working with ledger entries, creating new journals based on the journal names created previously. Cash and Bank talks about the Cash and Bank setup parameters and creation of bank accounts, check setup, check layout and all. Accounts payable setup focused about payment terms, cash discounts, vendor payments, vendor groups and all those things followed by the AP daily procedures using that setup creating vendors, their invoicing, registering invoicing, invoice register pools and all. Accounts receivable setup focuses on customers and the customer payment types, terms of payment, customer groups, followed by AR daily procedures. So that's the part of finance essentials. When it comes to finance advanced, we'll be talking about budgeting, how to configure budgets, using budgets and managing budget register entries, commitment accounting as a part of purchase requisitions, purchase orders, commitments to be the place, encumbrances, how do we implement encumbrance, post and pre encumbrances. Cash flow management talks about the cash flow forecasting feature of Dynamics 365 for operations. Multi-currency talks about including multiple currencies and having exchange rate set up, foreign currency revaluations and all. Advanced payments will talk about the bridging accounts, the bridging account setups to use the advanced payment features. Whereas intercompany accounting is when you have multiple organizations, intercompany needs to be configured that which will reduce a lot of manual efforts. Consolidations comes into the picture when you have group companies and the data needs to be consolidated at the end of the year for the for group company financials. Collections management where we'll be talking about how to set up and configure collection letters and send them to the customers after the past dues. Year end close will talk about the year end closing, the worksheets and the adjustment entries which needs to be done at the year end. Target audience and exam information. So this course heavily focuses on functional consultants or the implementers or pre-sales with the finance domain professionals along with accounting manager CFO could be the end users of the product. As far as the exam information is concerned, MB6871 is the exam for Dynamics 365 for Operations Financials training. 70% is the passing criteria and you'll see 45 to 50 questions during the exam. Well, that's it what we have for this training plan. You can always visit us dynamics.video or you can call us on this number. Thank you very much.